Welcome, friends, to Noob Healing Episode 6. This episode is going to be a little bit different. This is just going to be an update of what's been going on and what my future plans are for this series. You may have noticed last week on Friday there was no video. I ended up getting kind of sick, not with the spicy stuff, but just a regular head cold that kind of knocked me out for a while. I lost my voice, everything still sounds kind of raspy, and also a little bit congested. So I haven't fully, fully recovered, but I've recovered enough to be doing some videos right now. And in that time span of me being sick, I got to see the new expansion reveal, which I have to admit, I am super, super excited for. I was going to do a reactionary video, or at least, you know, do a, a small little video of my take on it. But to be honest, I cried during it. And every time I watch it, I tear up and I don't feel like putting out a video to where you see me getting all soppy and sad. I'm not sad. I'm excited, actually, but I'm just the type of personality that I cry at commercials. So <laughs> that that kind of video will not show up on this channel. Now, one thing I am really excited for is the Drakthir Invoker. I want to play one of these and it looks like they can be a healer. So. I'm definitely going to be dabbling in that when it becomes available, but I have seen and I've seen it where it says that you can only have one per server, but then I saw that no, that's not true. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what's going to end up happening with what you can do with those. And that kind of brings me into my thought process for what I'm going to be doing with this monk healer. My uh, guild is still working on trying to do heroic. And at this point in time, there is no timeline of when they're going to start doing what they call family fun night, which is where people can come in that are in the guild and do um, at content raids, obviously on normal. But that's what I was planning on healing for. And now I'm not sure when that's going to happen. But when the expansion reveal came, it kind of had me have a little bit of questioning because they are going to reintroduce the talent tree. Now the talent tree, if you're not aware of it, was something that was actually took place during Cataclysm. I'm not exactly sure when they implemented it, but I started playing during Cataclysm and I remember the talent tree from there. I also remember having to go through the headache of people inspecting your talent tree and calling you out because you didn't have exactly the most perfectest talents picked. And I mean, that's how it's kind of, uh, that's what I'm actually kind of worried about is you're going to go through this and pick the things that you want to do. And somebody's going to see it and be like, ah, that's not, that's not right. You shouldn't have that. But the one thing that actually does have me a little bit worried is I feel like once this becomes implemented, because I don't know a monk healer very well, and you know, we, we still don't know when the expansion is going to come out. So I probably have a lot of time, but I worry about the fact that once this becomes active, that I'm going to pretty much have to relearn how to play a monk healer again. Now say on my mains, yes, plural, I have two. I play a fire mage and a hunter. Them I'm not too worried about because I've played them long enough that I know their mechanics. I know kind of what's good, what's not good for me at least. Again, I kind of really don't care what people's expectations or what their mid-maxine beliefs are. You know, it's a subscription service. I pay my whatever a month. I actually do the six month plan. So what is that? $12.99. But the point is, is that it in the end it's my subscription and i'm gonna do what i want to do <laughs> and it's not like i'm going into like let's be you know top tier rating although that would be awesome i don't think i could handle the stress of that so getting back to the future of my monk healer and what's going to end up happening with the noob series it's going to continue i'm going to keep working on it if my guild ends up taking too long then i'll just heal in lfr I honestly, I don't mind LFR. LFR is kind of fun to me. You know, it's just, it's, it's the not top tier people. And for some reason, there always seems to be that one salty person in LFR that is just so angry that everybody else is a casual player in there and just there to have fun. So that's probably what I'll end up doing once I get there. Since I ended up taking a week off because I was sick, I haven't been leveling her at all. 
So there really is no point of making a healing video, at least for current con- I would still be in Battle of Azeroth, so I'm not at current content yet. So what my plans are is this weekend and throughout all of next week, I'm going to be leveling her and I intend to have a new video up for her on Friday, which should have me in the Shadowlands. That's the plan, at least, of doing at least some dungeons there. I don't know if I can run Shadowland dungeons at level 50, but if anything, I'll be level 50, which means I'll have more buttons to press. But let me know down in the comments what your thoughts were for the expansion reveal and also what your thoughts are on the talent tree. Also, if you just want to say hi, you can do that too. It's all up to you. Again, I'm sorry this isn't one of my normal noob healing videos. Look forward to next week. It'll be a little bit better. But again, I want to thank everybody for watching this and sticking with me and providing me with so much advice. If you haven't hit that like button, please do. It really does help. And if you feel so inclined, please hit that subscribe button. But again, you don't have to. It's your choice. Hey there. I want to thank you, you for watching this. And I will see you in the next episode of Noob Healing. Have a good one.